moved him to the roof. At your request, yes. This doesn't even look like it would ever work. <laughs> oh, you don't think? No, where's the supports? Oh, look at this, we have vendors now. Knowing those raiders are taken care of will go a long way in getting a good night's sleep. I don't want armor. I want weapons. You, you got anything to say to me? Give me weapons! Stop cleaning your desk! I'd offer you something, but I ain't got much to spare. You're a vendor! <laughs> this is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. My. Oh, We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Well, I guess we should Ada, go. With... Loop this message. Yes, sir. If that message is set to repeat, they could all be dead. If that's the case, just more salvage for us. Getting stuff is the gift that keeps on giving. Good, because I'm tired of having this seatbelt around my chest and calling it armor. But I'm not going to settle for anything less than legendary. I am legendary, and so must be my armor. Just like this shoulder pad. I was going to upgrade that for you, but if you want to keep using the seatbelt, then... I don't want to keep using the seatbelt. We need to find legendary armor for me. Oh, that's right. You can only use legendary armor. Hey, I wait. choose to because I'm not a simp. <laughs> so you don't sit in the bathtub and fart and then smell the bubbles? Where's this coming from? That's what a simp is. <laughs> I think we have different definitions. That's what the original definition of a simp is. Yeah, well, the original definition of ultimate is last, not best. Definitions change over time. That guy still needs our help, by the way. Oh, God, yeah, we should go do that. Oh, those are bears. Those are bears over there. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Just, just, just keep your distance. Union Don't feed them. Ago. Oh. oh, they wanted to pet them. Oh, they're just attacking the robot. We can ignore them. We can ignore them. Okay, can... let's go Let's go while the bears are distracted. Oh, God, there's a third one. Okay. Okay, this gun... Well, free bear meat, I and guess. And his F-Claw! Oh. <laughs> ah! Mike, are, are you okay over there? Yeah, he's just a... He, he's a big soft. He's all talk. Big stick. Ah! Well, you, <laughs> some days are more eventful than others, you know? I, yeah. I'm not going to complain about free ammunition, especially if we have to go against such aggressive wildlife. Nevertheless. Yeah, like three bears and a death claw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and this. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Hey, it's a crayfish. A crawdad? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we got a friend. Oh, he's legendary? <laughs> oh, no loot for us. <laughs> so, um, I think crayfish are weak to tartar sauce guns. Do we have any of those? I don't have a tartar sauce gun. Uh, Wouldn't you know it? Put that on the to-do list. Whiskey 3-7, this is Whiskey 3-4! We are being overrun! Danger close! Danger close! Whatever time that is the charm. We're a regular bunch of Louisiana boys! Good lord! That was ridiculous. I found a safe cracker's metal right arm. I only want legendary armor if it's good. I don't want sucky legendary armor. Ugh, I want legendary armor. I can only have legendary armor. Here, have this piece of legendary armor. It's not legendary enough. I want to have steak. Here, have this steak. It's burned to a crisp. Ah, I don't want this steak. That's you. That's what you sound like. All right, on to find this caravan that required our assistance. It sounded like they were in trouble, so let's keep a low profile. They could still be in trouble. The Cadian flashlight! Now's the time to shine! Literally! For the Emperor! Cadia stands! Hello. Greetings, robot. My friends did not survive the attack. Uh, you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my Duh. family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. Well, you can't save everybody, or anybody, especially if you ignore our distress signal for several months. Yeah, it's been a- Jeez! <laughs> it's been a bit. Are you alright? Your silence is troubling. God, we're, we're five feet away from an explosion! Yeah, that kind of worried me a little bit. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. 
Uh, who's Jackson? It's obviously some guy that made bad robot improvements. Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. Why didn't you leave? Why did you stick around? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. Well, looks like your math was off. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Sounds like a quest of retribution! Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. You just want revenge! Admit it! I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. I feel like somebody with a laser gun for an arm might have a penchant to betray me later. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Do you mind if we loot your fallen compatriots? They had some armor and some ammo. Silence is consent, so let's... let's it isn't, picking. but okay. How may I be of service, sir? Are you able to self-destruct? I'm just curious. No, I can't. I'm fairly certain that my original creator had grander plans for me other than becoming a pile of debris. Must be nice to have a creator that tells you their will. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the Mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. War is peace. Slavery is freedom. Ada, are you coming? She's probably mourning. Oh. I didn't even know robotics could do that. Is that concerning to you? It's a little off-putting. Robots are people too, Mike! Okay, we have an abandoned town here. Well, I say abandoned. It's got a couple residents. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I, Can you stop trying to set me on fire, please? I didn't. I tactically waited until you were out of range. This gun... This gun rips. I, I You know, I never thought I would say this, but I love this energy weapon. <laughs> oh, wow. It real good. Making history now. Yeah. I wonder if I convert it to semi-auto if it would technically do more damage and not be as ammo heavy. Hmm, I wonder if I can convert this to ballistics. Ooh. Uh, I like... Oh boy, oh boy. Gonna splatter your brain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Threat neutralized. Ah, mm. oh, the docks. Oh, this is the factory. General Atomics. It's unguarded? Well, why don't we just walk right in? We should probably walk in quickly before the ghouls get here. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, the servo bots got control of this place. Yep. Legendary! Cool! Oh, maybe some good armor for me! I'm dead! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, shooting us through a door! You cheating bitch! Well, How come they can shoot through the door, but I can't? Wow! What the fuck? Zach, you're getting flanked, I think. I don't know, I'm not in the same room. Sounds like you're in trouble, though. And behind door number one. Greetings, Unit 761. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department, where we assure your functionality is up to our high standards. Ooh. We must run a few tests before returning you to your caregiving duties. Caregiving? Now, please, proceed into the first test chamber. Uh, okay. Am I... First, we must test your disciplinary and behavioral management skills. Little Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. The vase was a family heirloom, and it is quite irreplaceable. Please, punish the child accordingly. Ah? Uh, punish um, the child. Punish the child? That's a child, huh? Is this Timmy? He seems like an adult man. He <laughs> punished. Please, punish Timmy. We already shot him once, but okay. It, does it think you're a Mr. Handy? Now listen here, Timmy. 
I know you think you can just go around breaking things, but I'm working on it. I know you think you can just go around breaking things, but that vase was a family heirloom, just like that Monet painting. You're going to have to be punished, son. The child needs discipline. Enjoy your punishment. Fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separate. Blowing up the child. Please proceed into the second test chamber. And next. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. Wah! Wah! This is the crying Wah! child, huh? Test baby. <laughs> I think I know what its problem is. Wah! It was born into this cruel world without its consent. It Wah! doesn't want to be here. Correct. The child was angry at God. Now please proceed into the third testing chamber. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. Please child proof this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Gotta remove everything that could be dangerous. Ah, adjustable wrench. A baby doesn't know the difference between metric and imperial? That's hazardous. It's incredible, Mike. For a child, anything is lethal. Like these potato crisps. He could choke on them. Yeah. Or this tactical hardened combat rifle. Who knows where that's been? Child-proof the room. I- it's child-proofed! We've looted everything! There's not much left! There's a machete in the refrigerator. Splendidly done. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of a child's reach. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. Yes, children do find a way to arm themselves, because we've given them armaments! Congratulations! It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Good job, Zach. You passed the robot test. I always knew you were a robot. He's hey. a Sith! Kill him! Oh, no. Kill him! If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Thank you for killing my enemy. Please, install this upgrade in me. I promise I won't betray you. Why are you giving Ada such a hard time? I don't trust her. She's a cutie. Yeah, that's how they get ya. Uh, what, Mike? She's backing that ass up towards ya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she looks pretty hot, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I've already done that joke. That's right, walk away. I don't like how rude you're being to my robo lady. Oh, yeah, because she's got all the things you look for in a woman. A metallic carapace. Yep. Cold hard exterior. Yep. Rough indifference to humanity. Uh-huh. Mike, you're saying that like those are bad things. Those are excellent qualities. <laughs> are they? <laughs> those are excellent qualities in a robot. Yeah, in a robot, sure. Yeah. I feel like you just like her because she's got boob plates. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head with that one. <laughs> she she needs help taking out a mosquito. Wait, wait, hang on. We're gonna reenact Resident Evil 2. Ada! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that joke was funny. Alright, alright.